If you want to know the best horror movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 1980s. <laughs> We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Hellraiser, 1987. The box. You opened it. We came. It's just a puzzle box! Oh no. Hellraiser is a 1987 supernatural horror film written and directed by Clive Barker and stars Andrew Robinson, Claire Higgins, and Ashley Lawrence. As one of the goriest movies you'll ever see, Hellraiser is surprisingly smart, yet of course disgusting and truly sadistic. When a man buys a strange Chinese puzzle box at a sex shop, he soon discovers that this thing isn't quite what he wanted, a direct portal to hell. And what's inside isn't something you want to discover. Not alone. You solved the box. We came. Now you must come with us. Taste our pleasures. Number 9. Poltergeist, 1982. Poltergeist is a 1982 supernatural horror film directed by Tobe Hooper and stars Jo Beth Williams, Craig T. Nelson, and Beatrice Street. Being the first great success of icon Spielberg as a writer comes a movie with a simple premise but a brilliant execution. A troubled family finds themselves haunted in their new home. Something that won't leave lurks in the shadows and reinvents the haunted house horror with incredible direction and story ideas that remain untopped to this day. <laughs> Number 8. They Live, 1988. What's your problem? They Live is a 1988 science fiction action horror film written and directed by John Carpenter and stars Roddy Piper, Keith David, and Meg Foster. They Live is one of the goriest horror movies that also finds political subversion and commentary to tell the story. When a homeless drifter discovers that the gap between rich and poor was created by aliens that infiltrated the Earth, his mission is clear. With a glass that reveals the aliens, our hero will do anything in his power to stop them. I said, what's your problem? How are you today, sir? Okay, how's it going? Bye, thank you. Thank you, sir. Number 7. An American Werewolf in London, 1981. Oh shit, David, what is that? I don't know, come on. Come on, where? Anywhere, I think we should just keep moving. An American Werewolf in London is a 1981 horror comedy film written and directed by John Landis and stars David Naughton, Jenny Yogater, and John Woodvine. Making a good place in the row of astonishing makeup special effects comes a movie whose premise is easily explained by its title. But being apart from other monster movies, this one is funny and horrifying in equal measure. When a teenager who just wanted to have a good time with friends discovers his secret werewolf being, trouble is on the horizon. You think it's a dog? Oh shit, what is it? Yeah, it's a sheepdog or something. Come on, turn slowly, let's walk away. Nice doggy. Good boy. Come on, Jack. Walk away. Walking away, yes. Here we are, walking away. Number 6. The Evil Dead, 1981. Why have you disturbed our sleep? Awakened us from our ancient slumber. <laughs> the Evil Dead is a 1981 supernatural horror film written and directed by Sam Raimi and stars Bruce Campbell, Ellen Sandweiss, Richard de Manincourt, and Betsy Baker. What should one say about this movie? Not only did it launch the unforgettable career of director Sam Raimi, it completely redefined brutal horror movies. The premise is as simple as it is effective. 
five horny teenagers, a cabin in the woods, and demons that possess your body to turn you into an ugly monster. Let the blood fest begin. <laughs> Bastards! Why are you torturing me like this? Why? <laughs> Number five. A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. Please, God. This is God. A Nightmare on Elm Street is a 1984 slasher film written and directed by Wes Craven and stars Heather Langenkamp, John Saxon, Roni Blakely, Robert Eglund, and Johnny Depp, launching a franchise that would have cultural impact for decades to come. A Nightmare on Elm Street created the iconic serial killer monster Freddy. With visuals that won't leave your head, for good and bad, this slasher movie takes on an impressively dark and real issue, telling it in a way that makes you stay awake for a long time. I know who he is. Who? The killer. You do? Yes. And if he gets me, I'm pretty sure you're next. Me? Why would anybody want to kill me? Don't ask. Just give me some help nailing the guy when I bring him out. Bring him out of what? My dream. Number four. The Fly, 1986. Am I different somehow? Is it life or is it Memorex? It's too bad Ronnie missed it. The Fly is a 1986 science fiction body horror film directed by David Cronenberg and stars Jeff Goldblum, Gina Davis, and John Getz. Not only turning its star Goldblum into a superstar, The Fly is the result of hard practical work and a ride that will make your insides turn upside down. When an obsessive scientist accidentally messes around with his DNA, he slowly but surely transforms into a big-ass ugly flying monster creature, and we witness the painful transformation with every drop of sweat. I've become free, I've been released, and you can't stand it. You'll do anything to bring me down. Look at me, does this look sick? Does this look like a sick man to you? Number 3. Evil Dead 2, 1987. <laughs> Let's go. Evil Dead 2 is a 1987 comedy horror film directed by Sam Raimi and stars Bruce Campbell, Sarah Barry, Dan Hicks, and Cassie Wesley. Some premises, such as the one of Evil Dead, are so simple that you can just make them a title and call it a day. But that didn't stop Evil Dead 2 from being one of the most memorable sequels ever. It is absurd how a gory bloodfest never takes its fight against the dead serious, but always remains incredibly bone-chilling and thrilling. Gotcha, didn't I, you little sucker? Number two. The Thing, 1982. My God, what the hell happened here? Come on, Doc. The Thing is a 1982 science fiction horror film directed by John Carpenter and stars Kurt Russell. This ultra-violent, disturbing, gory, raw, and fleshy excess of blood, insides, and alien juice is so breathtaking that you nearly forget you don't need CGI for all these aforementioned characteristics. The premise is simple. Antarctica, scientists, and an unstoppable alien force that steals your body and turns it into the ugliest creature you will ever see. But can this thing be stopped? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. How are those maggots? <laughs> maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots, how do they taste? <laughs> Johnny sold his soul. Then when he made it big, he tried to duck out of it. That's a crack of shit, you Johnny lied. came across an obscure rite in an ancient manuscript. He needed a victim, someone his own age. Why? To steal their soul. I used to be afraid of you. But I don't think I am anymore. There's nothing to fear except God. Whatever that means to you. 
for me, God, is a disease. Number one. The Shining, 1980. Here's Johnny! <laughs> the Shining follows the story of Jack Torrance, an ambitious writer who agrees to be a hotel caretaker during winters. Things start to unravel when Jack begins to lose his mind and threatens his wife and their son while possessed by a sinister presence that inhabits the hotel. Stanley Kubrick manages to deliver a majestic horror classic with his chilling screenplay and impeccable direction. Released in 1980, the classic psychological horror stars Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall in lead roles. Maybe he should be taken to a doctor. You think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? <laughs> When do you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. <laughs> do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.